All right, and we're back. So, this is the last mission in the desert section. And arguably, it's not that bad. Um, it's got one bullshit mechanic to it, and that is... I talked about this in a la later, earlier, whatever you want to call it, video. I'm really tired. Um, this is the level that makes you go through a fucking minefield without a goddamn minesweeper. So, when I was a kid, this was the furthest I ever got for the longest fucking time. This shit, for a child, is awful. Um, I'll... I'll do it the regular intended route, because... Consistency, I guess? Oh my god. I am always scared that the fucking clipping is gonna stop and I'm gonna get hit by something every time that happens. So, um... When I was a kid... My dad was actually the one that's like, this looks really hard, you should just try throwing grenades at the mines. And I did that, and I ran out of grenades, and I cried, because I, I said there's no more grenades, I don't know what to do. So, yeah, this level made me cry, okay? This was little tiny, like, 8-year-old, 10-year-old Seth, he cried at this level, okay? I, I admit it fully, okay? Okay, let's see if I can hit that guy from here. I don't think I can... Jesus! Okay, let's not do that. I don't think he can hit me from here. You see, that's the entire crux of this game, is you think, he can't hit me from this distance, and then he does. I'm just gonna throw a grenade. I don't... I don't play like that, okay? Oh, for fuck's sake. Like I said in the last video, there is no splash damage in this game. It just doesn't exist. And there is a guy over there. You probably didn't even see him. I did, because my brain is so fucking conditioned to this horrifyingly awful game. Well, to be fair, it's not that bad. It's actually... If I'm being fair, this is probably the best of the worst Army Man games, if that makes sense, okay? Like, there is much worse games on the PS1. This is not one of them, okay? This is not even close to the level of shit like fucking Gubble. Or something, which I do own. Um, or what's another one? I had a game that my mom got me for my cousins to play when they came over. Because they didn't want me to, like, have them play this fucking game. And it was called The Amazing Virtual Sea Monkeys. And I still own it. It's basically just, like, a diet version of Lemmings, but space-themed, I guess. That's kind of the best way to look at it. So, doesn't matter. Also, these mines, you will never, ever, 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 ever ever see me use them in this game. Also, this is the flamethrower, by the way. It's pretty fucking gnarly, okay? I mean, this was the thing I bought the game for, and then I was really disappointed, because as a kid, I realized it's really shit. So, anyways. So this little newspaper is the information of the minefield. This is fairly straightforward. But you gotta remember, when I was like 10, this shit was... Oh, this was like a different level of psychological torture for me for some reason. I still get fucking scared looking at this, okay? This- I'm 27 years old and this shit still makes me nervous. Ugh. So we gotta go to that rock pile. And then we gotta go, I think, to the cactus, right? Yeah. And that's why you clear the enemies out. Uh, then the rock, Dwayne Johnson. And then I believe we can just straight forward to this rock in the sandbags, right? Jesus, that made me fucking nearly piss myself. You have no idea. Holy shit. Fuck, that also scared me too. I was like, what the hell is that sound? Oh, fuck, man. I, like I said, I am 27 years old and that still makes me nervous. Okay, I, I know that's the intention. It's, it did a really good job at it. Uh, oh, man. Come on. I can hit this guy from here. I know I can. Oh, I know I can. Oh, I know I can. I've been watching a lot of Beavis and Butthead lately. I don't know. I fucking love McVicker. He's my favorite character in the entire show. Okay. Let's not fuck this up. Because then I gotta start the whole level over, and I don't want to do that and tell this horror story over and over. And experience that fucking ass clench over and over. You see, I hate this. I can't hit this douchebag. Ugh. Shit, I placed a mine. That was not what I thought it was for a second. 
Okay, so I can't walk over there. If I walk over there, it's game over. Oh, damn it. This isn't where we need to be. I just need to get up here to get some leverage. Oh, my God. Ugh. Fuck it. I'll just target this guy instead. This guy is probably more agreeing to die. Yeah, he's dead. Cool. The only reason I know that is because I just looked at the minimap. Okay, finally. Holy shit. You know, I'm going to be smart. I don't want to deal with this. Oh, you, you can get killed by your own minds if you're curious. That's why I just had like a slight heart attack. This level is fucking so ass clench it hurts. There's like three guys down there, by the way. Ugh. I know where most every single enemy is in this area. Not because I played it, because this is like... Like I said, this is as far as I'd get as a kid. This was absolutely horrendously difficult as a child. You gotta remember, too, I was playing this on a CRT TV probably, like, 20 feet away from it, so if I just got shot at, it would make me jump every single time because I couldn't see the damn shit. This game was hard to see back in the day, and I'm using an emulator with anti-aliasing and everything, and it's still hard to see. Ugh. But that's kind of why I like it. It's a very... It, it doesn't really get difficult, I guess. It just gets hard because it makes you have to pay attention. I think that's what makes this game so hard. Pretty sure that's a... Oh, never mind. I thought he was a grenade guy. Apparently not. Probably for the better. Oh, boy. Uh, I'll take that. It's no reason to get a full med kit if I don't have that much health gone. It's enemies on elevation, by the way. That's what really fucks you up in this entire game. Especially later on. Uh, I'd say the Alpine area is probably the hardest in the entire game. The Bayou is my favorite, even though it's probably the most frustrating. I think it's because... I'm gonna be real here, my absolute favorite, like... Like, nation in this game is probably the Greys. I think it's because they have that reputation in the manual, and it made me go, ooh, as a kid. Like... They're supposed to be, like, mysterious and scary and ugh. And they live in swamps, and they have, like, fucking gorilla tactics. They throw gorillas at people. Shit, I forgot there was a tank at this level. God damn it. Oh, well. It's not gonna harass me, I hope. Okay, I... Fuck it. Putting it here should take the whole thing down. That should do the trick. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. We watch the thing just disappear, and that's the end of the level. We don't... Yeah, we don't got to do anything else. That's the end of this entire section, so I'll see you guys in the next one.